and sound waves. A tiny magnet is welded to the wire under a microscope. Everything about the sensor is remarkably small. The weld is one ten thousandth of an inch. It's a very small weld. The sensor is tested. Sealed inside a weatherproof housing. Tested again, and then packaged for shipment to Hegemon Aerospace. that specializes in making parts for jets and rockets. They install the sensor in the strut assembly for the Veyron's rear wing. Then, it's checked on a machine made just for the Veyron to make certain both sensor and wing work perfectly. The rear wing is uh, a good sample of the combination of automotive and aerospace because this hydraulic system could also drive a flap system in an aircraft wing. Hegemon Aerospace builds 150 sub-assemblies for the Veyron, including the rear and front frames for the car. They construct the rear frame out of high-strength aircraft-grade stainless steel and weld it exactly the same way they weld airplane parts. All welders doing any kind of work on this car are certified aircraft welders. It takes a lot of time, and that's one reason the rear frame is one of the most complicated and expensive parts of the entire car. It takes around about 80 to 90 hour handcraft work to produce this single part here. Hegemon Aerospace also manufactures the Veyron's fuel tank. From the first design, this will finish uh, four years. It took that long because the Veyron's fuel tank needs to pump fuel eight times faster than a normal fuel tank. It takes three days to weld together the fuel tank for the Veyron. Two hundred and fifty different parts. five times the number in a normal car's fuel tank. There are 2,300 different parts in all the Veyron sub-assemblies Hegemon Aerospace manufactures. Each and every piece a form of mechanical art. My favorite piece is this rear frame, the engine mount, this car together with the rear hydraulic. This is a real fancy part of the car. It's a kind of artwork. Part airplane, part automobile. Both come together where the rubber meets the road. Until the Veyron, no one had ever made a production car tire that could be used at speeds over 250 miles an hour. Without finding a way to make that tire, the Bugatti Veyron would never hit its target, a top speed of 253 miles an hour.
one of the key parts of building the Bugatti Veyron would be something most people take for granted, but not Bugatti. At the end, one of the key points was the tires. Tires that would be developed here at the Michelin Research and Test Facility outside the small French town of Clermont-Ferrand. It was an extremely demanding technical challenge, you know. There was no tire available on the market, on the market that was able to meet the technical requirement of that car. Michelin offers two different designs, one for the road, one for the track. Bugatti pushes for one tire that could do both. So we need to develop brand new tires, new tires. Big tires, the biggest tires ever designed for a sport car. The Veyron tires are huge. Almost 14 and a half inches wide on the rear wheels. That's nearly twice as wide as a normal passenger car tire. They make each Veyron tire by rolling multiple layers of rubber onto a drum. A standard passenger car tire took almost 30 seconds to be built. This one needs more than one hour. This is a really handmade tire. Each layer must be perfectly aligned, checked with laser beams and a microscope. One more combination of car and aerospace technology. For this tire, we have to put in place very severe control that will meet or exceed the quality standard of an aircraft tire. A set of Veyron tires lasts about 6,000 miles. A set of four replacement tires costs $17,000. Part of what you're paying for is the use of what Michelin calls its tire torture machine. This uniquely devilish device reproduces every possible force and condition the Veyron tire would face on the road or the track. On this machine, we create forces that exceed, in fact, what is on the track. So it is a real torture for the tire. The Veyron's tires are actually over-engineered. The torture machine shows they can safely run at 279 miles an hour, 26 miles an hour faster than the car. But the ultimate testing is done outside. The Michelin prototype facility has 19 different track configurations spread out across 1,100 acres at Clermont-Ferrand. including the world's most sophisticated wet handling tracks. Computers precisely control hundreds of sprinklers. They can replicate everything from a light drizzle to a downpour. And the Veyron, with its one-of-a-kind tires, needs to handle it all. The 
the Veyron tires are shipped from Claremont Ferrand to Molsheim, France. This is where they'll build the Bugatti Veyron. In September 2005, Bugatti opens a brand new atelier, a French word meaning artist's workshop in Molsheim, France. 